engine on the one point now. So we found few fallen piece. So for the second point of the engine mount to start moving, I will use this one. And this will do two two jobs. So it will hold engine plus it's exactly the size what I need to cover of the chain. Chain guard and engine mount in the same, in the one way. So that's that's the perfect. So let's cut it. install it now that's it this, this is the position how it's gonna go brakes then we can uh, figure out where to put the all the wire ring and then a little uh, petrol tank and then they will jump on the front again to do the steering uh, accelerator pedal and, and the brake pedal and that's it that's it and ready for the test ride Okay, so yeah, let's do the brake system now. But before, I really want to start and then try if it runs. So let's make that. Uh, So the rear brakes, really simple. I cut a little piece of tubing, 40 by 60. Drill two holes. Drill one hole here and one here. And just screwed on the caliper. The brake system uh, worked quite easy. It's a little bit of the uh, cable and bolt I drill at the holes and put lap like this and after it's going like uh, six mil solid wire metal one the pedal the pedal I bent from 20 by by oh sorry 10 by 20 uh, tubing 
drill the hole here and here so put some spacer and cut this one so it works nicely now same with the uh, accelerator same system so yeah here is attached that the cable and runs to the carburetor in the sleeve like that okay so yeah the exhaust as well I done like little bracket and attached it there all simple okay so what next what na what left to do is steering it's not done flooring and and the seat oh and electrics to sort out just connect the temporary to start the engine engine is works perfect 